Hello everyone, today we are going to build a simple powerful drawing application using HTML, CSS and JavaScript. So by the end of this video, you will have a smooth pen and you can write anything with the, you can draw anything and a eraser. So you can undraw anything, you can remove anything from the page and you can change the color of the pen. See, this is green, this is red and this is uh, dark red. So it's a random color. So let's get started. So I have set up my basic HTML structure. So it's a top type HTML and meta text and a title. So I have given a title of basic pen and laser tool. You can customize it according to your. And uh, so in the body section, I'll add a div for our controls and a canvas element for the drawing. So I have added a div and uh, inside that I have added a button, two button, one for eraser, one for the changing color and a span for uh, display the color. And uh, here I have uh, added a canvas element. So it is used to draw graphics via JavaScript. So currently our page is uh, looking like this. So there is no CSS. So let me add the CSS and what you can do, you can copy the entire CSS from the description of this video and you can copy and paste in your code. So after styling, it will look uh, like this. So CSS is applied to the HTML page and uh, CSS is very small part. I would recommend that we should not uh, waste our time. So just copy it and paste in your uh, code base. And let's uh, move to the main part of this application, which is JavaScript. All right, let's dive into the JavaScript. So let me add a file here, app.js, and link this app.js with your HTML page. So use the script tag and add a src attribute and provide the file path. So to check if it is working or not, just do a console.org. Hello. World. After inspecting it, I hope you are able to see the hello world. So it's working fine. So we can amend, we can write the code into the JavaScript file and we'll check it. So we will start by selecting our canvas element and setting up the 2D context for the drawing. So this line selects the canvas element from the HTML and assign it to the canvas variable. And this line gets a 2D rendering context of the canvas and allowing us to draw on it and assign it to the CTS variable. So now we will set the canvas size to match the entire windows dimension for a full screen experience. So to do that, we have to uh, set our canvas dot width. It will be equal to the windows dot inner width. And same goes with the height, windows dot height canvas dot height will be the windows dot inner height and call on just the formality in the JavaScript save this next we will define some default tool settings including flags for drawing and erasing and a variable for the current color and to change the color so what we will do we will create three variables so let me just create the three variables so I have created these three variables and now we will have to create a function which will update the display color. And we will click on the change color button. Uh, this button, let me show you. So this button, if we click on this button, it will change the current color. So for that, we need to uh, write a function. So this function will update the displayed current color in the color display element. Okay, just a simple code, just query selector and a style background. So it will be uh, current color. And current color is set this variable. Currently it is uh, uh, this color and we will update it and we will click on the change color button. So now let's define the function that it starts the drawing process. So it is uh, this variable we are setting it to true when we start the drawing and uh, this cts.begin path we will start a new path in the canvas context and uh, this cts.move to method uh, will like it will move the starting point the path to the specified coordinates and this x and y will come from this x and y argument. So let's define the function which handles the actual drawing and the racing logic. So if it is false, this drawing is false, currently it is false. So what it will do, it will return immediately from the function. And if it is true, so it will clear the rectangle around the coordinates, x and y coordinates. So this coordinate is coming from the argument of this function. And if both condition fails, so it will write, so like it will stroke the uh, current color. It is like uh, it will uh, draw the path around the mouse cursor. So if you are new to the uh, canvas thing, so you can just ignore this uh, understanding and just copy this uh, four five lines and paste in your code. So now we will have to add a function to stop the drawing process. 
So I have created a function stop drawing and we have to make is drawing false, make it default false and this uh, cts.close path we have to call inside this stop drawing function. So after that we have to work on the event listener for the mouse interaction with the HTML page. So this event listener mouse down will uh, call this start drawing function and it will send the coordinates of the mouse. So this mouse move event, event listener will draw as the mouse moves and this mouse up will stop the uh, drawing and if mouse leave from the page it will stop the drawing again. So it is like when the mouse button is released or the cursor leaves the canvas area it will stop the drawing. Let's save it and paste in our browser. So as you can see, I'm able to uh, draw anything as the mouse move. So if you check uh, eraser, eraser is not working at all and change color is not working at all. So we have to work on this functionality and uh, click on the button. We have to change the color, this color. So let's work on these three items. So in this function, we are accessing the eraser element to erase, to use the erasing functionality. So I'm adding a click uh, uh, event listener and uh, what I'm doing here, I'm just uh, adding this erase uh, is erasing is equals to false. So it will work as the toggle. So if it is true, it will make it false. And if it is false, it will make it true. So and I'm access the erasing button to change the text of this button. So it will uh, say stop erasing if it is true. And if it is false, it will make it eraser. So let's check this out in the browser. It is working and it is saying stop erasing. So as you can see, this uh, uh, eraser is working. So now let's work on this change color button. So finally, this event listener for the color change button that uh, generates a random color in JavaScript. Let's write code for it. I'm just assigning this uh, random color, random hex color and converting it to string and assigning it to the this variable, current color variable, which is here. Okay, and after that, I am making this erasing false and uh, this uh, eraser button, so what we have done here, we are just doing the same thing and uh, we are just updating the color display. Color display, we are calling this function. So it will update the color. Let me show you what it will update. So see, this will update the color here. As we click on this button, so it will update the color here. Okay, one bug I have noticed here. So let me show you if uh, I am changing the color. Okay, and if I refresh the page, the color is gone. So it is not coming as default. So what I can do, I can this copy this function and paste outside the function. So whenever this file load, it will uh, load the default color. The default color is, so let's check this out and uh, refresh the page. So yes, it is working now. I hope you enjoyed building this project with me. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe for more coding tutorials.